Hello everyone, my name is Colin and today I will be showing you how to use the Copic airbrushing system. Before we get started today, I just want to let you know that I am not Copic certified. I am just a YouTuber that likes to show people how to use Copics and I have been using Copics for two and a half years now and um, I am not sponsored by Copic or being paid to show you how to do this stuff. So let's continue, let's declutter from all the seriousness and show you how to use the airbrushing system. So here I have the Copic airbrushing system. It comes in a box this big. There is two different versions. There is the $54 version and the $135 version. The $54 version, which I have, uh, when you open up the box, it comes in this box right here. And it comes with the Copic Air Grip and the Copic Air Can, uh, the model D60. There are three different types of air cans. There is the smallest one, which is the 80 the second to largest which is the D60 and then the largest Copic air can which I have which is the 180 Copic air can 180 so there are two different models this model comes with the D60 air can and the Copic air it does not include this can because clearly this can would not fit in this case that it comes in and then the second one is $135, which comes with one D60 air can, one um, uh, tube compressor, and comes with an adapter can, plus a D60 air can, a foam tray to hold your air cans, plus a Copic air sprayer. So, uh, safety in instructions before you get started. You want to keep this away from children, don't spray it on people, and when you're spraying it, don't have it at too much of an angle because the liquid gas could pour out. Not pour, but it would just spray out. And it says, do not let this can go over I, uh, uh, over four, 40 degrees Celsius, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, the cool if you store this in a cool place they say when you spray it it may lower the pressure when you release it it might not be as high as you expected it to be so to assemble your uh... Let's just make sure before we get everything you want to depressurize this completely you want to make sure it is zip empty before you throw it away so and i don't know if these are recyclable so to get started you want to take your cap off your air can and you will notice there is this little metal nozzle thingy. So you want to take your air grip sprayer and you would want to attach it. The way you would screw on like a bottle cap on something. This thing this just pops on when you're done. So you just want to, I just put my finger here so it will not slip. And if you make it too tight, you will allow air to escape. So like, let's say you want to leave this in here like this, the way it is, not put the cap back on and put this away. Air could escape if you have it too tight. So as I tighten it, I just want to make sure it's not too tight so air can escape, but tight enough so when I want air to escape, will escape. So now that we have this ready, you want to use your, this is an old scrap piece of paper. I'm using a dark color so it's okay. This is my Copic Expressive Blending Card and um, I will be using that. And the two colors, not colors, of Copics this can be used with is the Copic Original which is a block shaped one and the Copic Sketch, which is an oval shape. I am not using the original because it's too light of a color. And originals are not really found, so you most likely, li likely 
If you do get the set, you will probably beforehand, or if you're just starting, you will probably have the Copic sketch more than any. And it is not compatible with the Copic wide because of it is too big. And it is not compatible with the Copic Chow. The Copic Chow is a circular one. It's like this, but it's just circular, and it has a smaller barrel, and it fits in, but it goes way too far out, so you're pretty much just like hitting this, not the actual marker. So you want to use the chisel tip. doesn't matter if the chisel tip is facing up or down. I like to face it downward, so you want to push it in. You usually hear like a clicking sound, like you just did. So... Then you want to grab your paper, and I will show you. I will have it like right here. So if you put it right here and get really close, you will get a very thick, dark coating of Copic marker. And you kind of just jimmy it around until you find the way. Okay, there we go. So you see how dark that is, and that's only an inch away from the card. So if I was to be around, I don't know, this is being an inch, but depending on which way your Copic is, so it's facing, my Copic's facing down now. Okay. So that's my Copic facing downward around three inches away. So, for some reason, it's not working the same as it did, but when I did my video before this, trying to test it out, I did my Copic facing downward around five to six inches away, and I got this really nice thick black coating. So, you just have to jimmy it around to make sure it works, to see how it will work. So, when you're done with it, you could, if you're done with it, you can leave it like this, and this is pretty much where the video ends for you. Or, if you're like I am, and you don't want to have that threat of your air being wasted, you want to unscrew this from this. Uh, you can put it wherever you keep it. I just store it in the original packaging it came from. Like a dish, uh, if I can get this on. Not working this. So, and then you just want to pop your cap back on. I just store it in my desk because it stays regular temperature. So if you hear that clacking, that is the sound of the air can hitting my other one. Because I have two, just in case, because that one. And if you really don't want to buy air cans 24-7, like, go into the air. Because I noticed when I got the D... 60 that one lasted around three or four days because I was using it a lot because um I was doing a project and I used it and it literally went out really fast but these I have had to do this video like two times over now and I've already used that one air can that I've showed you several times and it's still giving off a strong discharge of air so and then I just put this back up here now Copic has a variety of a variety of colors that you can use, and those are just air cans. They actually they don't have like ink coloring in them. You actually have to put the marker in to it. So, um, but no, they have tons of colors. Like I will use it for my drawings and other things. There's blues, there's greens, there's yellows, there's reds, there's violets, blue violets. Um, there's earth tones, which are like skin tones, and there's many more like there's warm grays, cool grays, and so in my next video, I will be showing you the Copic coloring chart. So I hope you guys like this video, and um, you can uh, comment down below and let me know what you want me to do next, and please subscribe for more videos. And just to let you know, just like I said in the beginning of the video, um, I'm just doing this for fun to show you guys how to use Copic products. I am not sponsored by Copic or being paid by Copic. And I am not Copic certified, but I have been doing Copic for two and a half years now. So I just wanted to share my knowledge with you guys. And I also do other videos. Uh, my next videos will be doing how to draw and stuff. So I hope you guys like this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow.
बाय